Vargas, our co-host, who is just awesome, and AJ Powers. We're going to go to the Bear Republic CrossFit. We're going to learn about some charitable stuff. Let's go check it out. By now, we've all heard of, or at least done a workout or two, with CrossFit. It's a high-intensity workout combining true strength, agility, perseverance, and teamwork. It's a true sense of community. And our next guest is the prime example of how community can bring awareness to everyone. I'm here with one of San Diego's top producing real estate agents, broker and owner of Powers Premier, AJ Powers. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. So you have a very special guest here today, yes. if you can introduce me. This is Garrett Hoff. He's with Autism Tree Project Foundation. Garrett, do you want to tell us uh, your role in the company and who you guys are? Yeah, so we are a 501c3 nonprofit, um, and I run the intern and young volunteer program at the foundation. Um, we are incredibly excited to be here. We have over 20 free programs for children and families with autism in the San Diego and San Jose Bay Area. So I know we're here at Bay Republic um, CrossFit Gym, and the connection was it is that you actually know a few people at this gym. So to surprise to everybody, not only does he do everything he just said he does, but he's also an incredible high school student and runs a whole program. So tell us a little bit about how Bear Republic got involved with your organization. Uh, well, actually the man who started Lift Up Autism, he is the head trainer of Naval Special Warfare. So all the SEALs um, in San Diego, you know, train under him. And so he knows uh, three of the four gym owners who okay. serve in the Navy and work with the Navy SEALs, and several of them are. Um, and he actually put me, because his kids are in our programs uh, at the foundation in touch with one of the owners his name's Joe Prophet and uh, he trained me because I'm applying to the Naval Academy and uh, for the candidate Amazing. fitness assessment <laughs> thankfully I passed I'm very excited Yay, to say that um, thanks to Joe's incredible training ability and uh, he brings that same dedication and effort to this gym that is it's a fantastic place so tell me a little bit about how Autism Tree Project Foundation started so I am actually on the spectrum um, and going way back, I was a little three-year-old, and <laughs> my parents were both, are, are slash were both in healthcare. Um, my dad's an executive at Scripps, my mom was a sales rep at J&J &J covering over 200 hospitals in Southern California. And it took nine months to get a diagnosis. Wow. Um, and so, you know, they thought to themselves, okay, it took nine months to get me diagnosed with all the connections that they had in the healthcare world. How does a family do it that doesn't have those connections? Yeah. And that's really where it first started, Parents Helping Parents. Actually, our very first program was a parent mentor program um, where we'd invite professionals and other parents um, to mentor new parents that are going through this for the first time. That's wonderful. And so everything raised um, that your foundation raises goes directly to the cause, right? Yeah, so we really have, we, we do three main things. Um, and I, as far as I know, no other organizations doing all three. Um, we have a strong research contingency, so we're actually having a big neuroscience conference our third year um, up uh, at the Sanford Consortium, right by the Salk Institute. We also publish research um, relating to early intervention, which is the idea that the earlier a child gets diagnosed, the earlier that you can start having therapy and the better off that child will be as they get older. Because you know, the mind is so malleable in those yeah. early developmental stages. Um, and you know, I am where I am. When I was three years old, I was nonverbal. I, was, I had what, what was called echolalia. Um, so AJ, can you say something for me? Anything you want. You're amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. That's all I could say back to. Um, wow. That was it. So through a lot of therapy at a very young age, you know, I was able to overcome that challenge. Um, and you know, we want to bring those opportunities to kids, whether that's through early preschool screenings, which we do all over San Diego. Um, our big initiative right now is screening Head Start preschool children. Um, there are 10,300 preschool children here in San Diego. Our goal is to screen all of them every year. Right now we're screening about over 2,000. We would screen all 10,000 a day if we had the funds. Um, and so that's part of where this money yeah. is going. Well, hopefully we can get you those funds. I know AJ, you're with your brokerage, you are so big on charities. So you brought us to this to highlight this. What are some of your thoughts on the events that are happening? I think it's amazing. I mean, we just did the tournament for Boys and Girls Club at Carlsbad, and then this event again. Anything we can do to help out in the community, um, everything that we do in real estate is because we want to be a part of the local community, help out everything that we can. So as much as we can do to get involved, to raise more money so you guys can hit those goals and 
do the things that are really important to you guys and to us as a community, I'm all for it. Garrett, so has your foundation, have they met their goals for the year yet? And if not, how can people get involved? We're not there quite just yet. We're at about 35% of our operating budget with a few months to go. Um, you know, we're a nonprofit. We always need support. We always want to, you know, put as much back into the community as we can. Um, and so we have a couple big events uh, to, you know, bring that number up and get to our number for this year. Um, the two are, we have a big grassroots telethon on Giving Tuesday, which uh, was started by the United Nations. And, you know, we'll be making calls in our office in Point Loma and, you know, we can always use help. Um, yeah. You know, anything you have, we are more than happy to, you know, take it and bring it back into the community. The other big event that we're having is, you know, to try and reach our goal of screening all 10,300 Head Start preschool children in San Diego. We're going to be having a big luncheon at the Weiland Center for our 15th anniversary. Aww. It's going to be April 2018. Uh, so we're very, very excited about that, and we're looking forward to finally reaching that goal of screening all 10,300 and running all of our 20 plus programs at ATPF. Perfect. So if someone wanted to make a donation now, what would be the best way to do that? The best way to do that would be to go on our website, www.autismtreeproject.org, and there will be options there. We have PayPal. Um, in addition, you can call our office and we can facilitate a donation that way. You do have a couple events coming up, right? So yes. there's ways that people can get involved. Tell me a little about the events coming up. So I actually didn't even get to the third main big thing that we do, which is family programs. Um, and they really span all over because, you know, autism is very individualized. Unlike um, most ailments, when it comes down to it, you know, how autism affects me is going to be very different than how somebody else is affected by autism. So, you know, personal preferences are different, and that goes without saying. Um, so some of our programs include, U so we have a program with USD football. Um, oh, wow. And so we p partner kids up with the players. Um, we've been doing this program for about 10 years now. We're getting to our 10th wow. year. And at the end of the season, um, our kids have a big Christmas party with the players. We put on a big holiday so party. Um, we have Santa come and give out gifts and arts and crafts, and the players get to play with the kids. Well, Garrett, I'm so glad we got to speak to you. Thank you, AJ, so much for introducing us to Garrett. I cannot believe or tell you how much I've not only learn, but I'm looking at him, I'm just blown away by you as a human being. So thank you so much for what Autism Tree Project Foundation does for everyone. Well, I'm truly flattered. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. And uh, thank you for all that you're doing in the community. What an incredible foundation. We're looking forward to so many more events with ATPF. We wanna send a big thank you out to Bear Republic CrossFit, AJ Powers for inviting us here, and of course, Garrett Hoff. Garrett, we wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors.